Hello, welcome to Inside Heidi's Mind, episode three. Episode two was pretty short, but I found out that for this class, Practice on Theory 2 and Counseling, I have to do two episodes a week that are shorter than the first one that I did, which was a little lengthy, but um, I would like to tell you more about my life. Um, just a quick few fun facts about myself to start off. One, my main passion is singing. Um, one of my dream jobs is to be a professional singer, which would be amazing, but I still have to work on that. I'm 21 and part of me has this fear that like for jobs like that, you have to start when you're young because so many people start when they're teenagers. Well, I've tried out for American Idol and The Voice and both of them you have to have a story for in order to get any further. I've also been in LA to perform at the Arts which is Applause Rising Talents Showcase. I am definitely going to do that again. It was awesome. I made it to the second round in front of the managers. Did not make it to the third, but it also had dancers, actors, and a bunch of different talents that honestly blew me away. But it was amazing to be with a group of people who have the same passions as you and are able to uplift you and encourage you in where you're going. So this episode, I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about. I just wanted to, to recap on my week. Um, basically, encourage you who are listening and see if you can relate to me as well. I know I said I said, or sorry. I know I said that I would say a few fun facts. So one, I love to sing. Two, I love my Fit Team Fit. And three... Um, I like floral print stuff. I don't know. That's a random fact about me. I really love photography, different things like that. I used to do photography for fun when I was in like seventh grade, but I don't do it anymore. I compared my skills to other people and I decided not to do that, but I am going for school counseling, so I'm excited about that. But anyways, so this week, Honestly, it's really stressful because I'm currently working three jobs and I'm in graduate classes and I'm trying not to beat myself up and trying to just intake material so that I can walk away and truly keep that in my head. I'm not trying to cram material in my head every night, but I'm trying to be consistent with my jobs and with my classes. And one thing that people have to realize about this is you cannot beat yourself up. Um, you cannot cram things. You're not going to maintain information like that. I tried to work ahead last semester and it didn't work. You have to go week by week. But this last week just seemed like I was just like, go, 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 go. Not only that, I've added, as of this week, I've added physical training into my day for an hour. And you would think that one hour out of 24 hours is not that much. But when you have class for three hours and work for another nine hours, if you do work that day, and then another job for four hours, and another job for one to two hours, it's a lot, but I really have the goal to aim for my passions and work towards those goals that I have. I desire to be the youngest diamond executive in Fit Team, and in order to do that, I have to continue to share. I want to continue to build my relationships with my friends. And that's kind of challenging with everything going on right now, but um, it's worth it. And you really see who's there for you. Um, so one thing I really want to focus on today basically is the idea and concept of beating yourself up when you don't get things done. I did that a lot this week. I'm currently in singing lessons every Tuesday for a half an hour and... I didn't do really any of my breathing exercises this week and I know that's really important to develop your ability as a singer. I didn't practice the song that I desire to perform throughout my practices and thinking about it like I'm a really organized person and a person who is constantly on the go. I schedule myself back to back and that's something I've done since I was 12 years old. I'm really not sure how to take a step back and go with the flow because um, if I spend one day or even 
one to two hours um, sitting down and not doing anything, whether it's sitting on the couch, I do not watch TV. I feel like it's a waste of time. And honestly, I'm to the point where almost sleep is like it's necessary, but like you don't want to look at it as a waste of time. Um, or you're not going to be able to learn anything and grow from that. And so I truly pray for my anxiety every day. Um, I have never been diagnosed with it, but part of me thinks that I have it. Because even when I lay down to go to bed, my mind is like, so you have to do this, 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 and this when you get up. And when I get up, it's like, okay, now today you have to do this, this, this. And then I just feel like tension. And it's like, okay, let's just take that tension away and focus on one thing at a time. You cannot beat yourself up for this. So my last episode on Inside Heidi's Mind, I was out in Philadelphia at the Central Terminal Market. And I went to Love Park, I went skating on the Blue Cross Rink on the Delaware Waterfront, which was absolutely amazing and I would love to go again. I went with my roommate Sam and we had a great day. We got our nails done. Um, we just had a good time. And then I got back and I beat myself up for not being productive, for not looking at all of my homework, and for actually enjoying a day out and about. When inside my mind I was thinking about, you have to call this person, you have to do this assignment, this is due, this is due, this is due. Okay, where do I start with that? If you guys have any tips of where to start with that, like what do you do, you know? Another thing I've been thinking about and trying to do more often is listening to podcasts. One podcast that I absolutely love is called um, The More You Know by Noelle Ames. Um, no in the podcast is spelled N-O-E because her name is Noelle. And she's very, very intelligent. She talks about real life experiences and how to handle your judgments about people and how much you can control in your life versus how much you want to change. That's another thing I've really been focusing on and another thing that I added to my week. This last week I started counseling. So on Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, I have a counseling session for an hour. And I definitely am going to try to focus on, okay, what are some things I need to change? Because I have noticed throughout 2020, throughout my year of being 21 years old, I had lost and gained friendships. Okay, what am I doing wrong and what am I doing right in order to gain those friendships? and lose them. Um, there's a lot of self-discipline in all of this and again that's one of my goals that I would love to get better at. I try so hard to communicate with the people that I love every single day and sometimes people are like well how come you didn't message me or how come you haven't checked in on me so long and I don't think they realize how much I really am trying to and maybe I forget so um, a lot of your energy is put out onto other people and one thing that I learned today throughout my classes is that most of what you have a passion for and your values that you've developed actually happen within your first six years of life and those that you look up to and those that are influencing you and you wouldn't think that that would affect you because your memory really isn't fully developed um, but your chemicals in your brain are changing and that's what's um, allowing you to make different actions in your life and that was so interesting as I was reading about the study of the individual and so I'm trying to apply um, the study of the individual groups procedure counseling and practice and theory to all to my life right now so that I can walk out of these courses with the better knowledge and value of things that I can do in my life and for others and so I want to be able to support you as a listener and support me in my development throughout this semester. As I'm already on nine minutes of this video, I am going to cap my videos out at 10 minutes. Um, my teacher said honestly to only do like five minutes, but it's so hard for someone who sucks at summarizing. And so um, another thing that I enjoy is um, supporting at home businesses. I've recently supported my friend Jasmine and her candle business. This is one. Um, she started this thing called Humble Candles and she started it in January and she's also already made about $400 in sales. So check her out. She's awesome. This literally smells like a candle store. Um, 
but I'm trying to do things for self-care. So if any of you guys have tips on self-care, please leave them in the comments. Um, getting my nails done, yes, it's expensive, but it's almost like forcing myself to take self-care. And this last Saturday, while I was getting my nails done, I realized I didn't really take much time to just sit back and relax. I was listening to a Fit Team Zoom training, and I was just focused on all the things I needed to do that day and throughout the week. And so um, I really need to take it one day at a time. And... But yet I also, I'm like, okay, I can't take my time on this because this needs to be done and figured out by this age. And so that's one thing I'm really struggling with right now. Um, so if you're struggling with that as well, let me know. We can work at it together um, along with confidence and body image and different things like that. I'm really focusing on that as well because I want to be confident again. And I was confident a year ago, so I need to be confident again. And that's why I added the physical training, the motivational things every day. Um, it really takes work. Um, developing yourself really takes work. And so I hope you as a listener watching me um, and now seeing that I'm going to post twice a week. And I'm really sorry for all the ums in this video because this is real. This is raw. This is me. This is inside Heidi's mind. I hope that you learn more about me, you will learn more about yourself as you listen from an outsider's perspective and from your own perspectives. And I just hope that you continue to listen and support my vlog and I can't wait to post again and I will see you again sometime later this week. Today is Monday, February 8th. It's actually like almost midnight and I have some energy because I took a fit stick way too late because I was falling asleep in class. And so they're awesome. But they're also, you gotta be careful when you take them. But um, I appreciate all of you and I cannot wait to see the progress throughout these videos in my own life and things I've accomplished. And yeah, I guess we'll both see where it goes. So thank you and I hope you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are. I can't wait to see you on episode four.